This is part five of the six part series. So after you finish your vertical butt and your T-joint weld, you're gonna do your flat weld. So since the metal is hot, you're gonna grab your clamps and you're gonna break it off. And so with the flat weld, you want it to be straight as possible on that other piece of metal. So what I usually like to do is to draw, get a piece of chalk or marker and draw a line. So I've already done that on this piece of metal and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So here we go. So I'm running about 75 amps and it's kind of hard to get struck up, but I'm gonna strike up on the edge of the plate and heat it up, get it nice and warm, and then I'm gonna take off like I just did. And there we go. We're moving nice and slow, creating that puddle each time, because with that low amperage, like 75 on a Lincoln Buzz Box, it's kind of hard to lay it in there good, so you gotta hold it for a while. And just that back and forth movement, kind of pushing it up on the next puddle. And you want that dime look for the flat weld because that's what the judges are going to really focus on is that real pretty look. It's not a contest of how strong your welds are, it's about a contest of how pretty your welds are. So just make sure that you know, you're stacking those dimes in there real nice and that it's a straight line in the middle of that plate. Sometimes I'll draw a line to make sure that I'm going straight. And so here we are getting to the edge of the plate, finish strong and make sure each last ripple is nice and consistent. Go all the way to the edge. And there we have it. 75 amps on a Lincoln Buzzbox flat weld.